So I've finally made it to Austria and I'm heading towards the sports hall now. A rather sophisticated gymnasium that I'm super excited to see. But I mean, all around me is Vienna and um, it's really, really clean. The place doesn't look, really look lived in. I just can't get over how beautiful this place is. And everyone's really polite and it's so quiet. It's like a city's not, it hasn't been lived in or it's not being lived in. It's like a screen set for a movie and the cast hasn't turned up and there's a few extras loitering around. Everything about this place is exquisite. Look, they even go to a great lengths to make the posts that hold up plants look good. Take, check out this. I mean, we just stick a stake in the ground and hold the bloody thing up, right? No, not in Vienna. It's got to look good. It's been a difficult last week to keep the training up. Uh, a lot of train travel, a little bit of a cold. To get to Austria, I've been through London and stayed with family. And then I traveled to Edinburgh and visited my philosophy lecturer from, I don't know, 20 something years ago. Uh, and now I've uh, flown through Amsterdam to come here with all the amazing food in three or four different countries plus airplane slop. You can imagine that the diet uh, and nutrition plan hasn't uh, exactly gone to plan. Now, I've only been walking for about 15 minutes and I've, this is like the third urban adventure park playground recreational facility that I've come across. But over here these high gated sections got indoor beach volleyball, <laughs> basketball courts and so on. And there's a stairwell over here. I don't even know what's up there, but it looks pretty exciting. My GPS tells me I'm somewhere close. So I better take a look out and see if I can find the magnificent sports hall. Okay, I think I found it. I got a few wrong turns, but we have arrived, I think. If you look over my right shoulder, the sports hall. First hitch, it's locked. It's like a, it's like a little mini fortress. No invitation, no entry. 